Eat on Hanmi Life episode, Aiden. Loves ice cream, so yummy, Dad. Which one? You loves ice cream. Hanmi Life. Mama, we're going to Odin. Do you know? 어, 단타운의 아이스크림 유명한 집에 왔지? 그렇지. 우리가 Loves Ice Cream이라는 집으로 왔는데요. 제가 잘 아는 집인데 왜냐하면 이 사장님이 저랑 친해요. 중학교 때부터 제가 알던 친구거든요. 네, 고등학교 졸업하고 나서 단한 번만 한 번만 만났거든요. 아마 15년 만에 그 정도 이분 만나러 갑니다. 그래서 한번 들어가서 여러분들도 Loves Ice Cream이라는 집을 네 즐겁게 보시기를 바랍니다. 가보시죠. 아마 이 가시는 대로 우리가 오랜만에 다운타운 집으로 왔는데요. 여기 다운타운 쪽에 아주 큰 마켓이 있는데요. 몇년 전에 여기를 지어서 많이 가게 들어 왔습니다. 그러면 가보시죠. 다시 한번 보여드릴게요. Lower Peninsula라고 표현합니다. 네, 오셨다. 사장님이 계시네. Wow, how long have I been brothers? Been years. I don't know. Good to see you. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. Let's go inside. 어디 봅시다. 뒤로 왔는데요. 지금 직원들이 열심히 일하고 계시네요. Chris, where are we at right here? So this is our production kitchen. Okay. And we are currently making a non-dairy strawberry ice cream. Okay. Um, made with coconut milk. So that's one of the things that we do. And we're packing some pints here. Um, and in a couple of moments, you'll see it coming fresh out of the, uh, the ice cream churner. We call it a batch freezer. Wonderful. So, yeah. So do you make a different flavor every day? Uh, you know, it, it depends on our schedule. It, the answer is probably yes, okay. but it's not like a feature of the day. Okay. So it's more of a, what are we going to need in two to three weeks from now? Okay. And then kind of uh, working backwards from that when we plan our schedule. Okay. So. Yeah, and right now, how many flavors are you serving at the moment? So every day we have 16 flavors uh, that uh, someone can walk up and get a scoop of, but we also have... Um, I don't know, probably 50 flavors wow. or so that you could choose from um, in pints to go. Maybe that maybe that's high for right now, maybe it's more like 40, but at Valentine's Day we certainly had that many. Wow. Yeah. Is that coming out oh, over here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but really, we're just packing freshly churned ice cream into um, smaller containers so people can buy them in a few of the retail stores around Michigan that okay. carry our product as well as our uh, scoop shop out front okay. and then uh, yeah just packing them by hand we don't have a machine to do it for us so okay. it's all packed here and then they go into a very very cold uh, freezer to harden okay. um, that kind of locks in the uh, all the hard work that we put in sure. um, for, a, for a better flavor and shelf life. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 
what uh, what do we call this machine here? Um, this is the batch freezer or churner. Okay. So the ice cream goes in here or gelato, and then basically there's a freezing mechanism. And as it churns, it's slowly freezing it and whipping whipping it at the same time. Okay. So you're freezing it and incorporating air at the same time, and that's what makes it like really fluffy and silky in your mouth. And yeah, so it makes it yummy. <laughs> Yes. How many buckets do you usually fill up? Um, it's about a, like a tub and a half per okay. batch, but because we have a lot of strawberries in this one, we're getting about two tubs per batch. So okay. it's a little more just because of the fruit content. So okay. right now I'm opening it up because this is the end of the batches that I'm doing for strawberry. So we basically have to scrape it all out. Okay. So you get every last little bite of ice cream. Okay. So you'll see the inside of it here. It's kind of crazy. It's inside. Wow. <laughs> Exciting. So there's a giant paddle in there that whips around. Okay. Constantly scraping the edges of where it's freezing. So around the exterior of the tunnel, it freezes and then it scrapes each little frozen layer to gently, or well, fairly quickly lower the temperature of the mixture. Okay. Meanwhile, like she's like uh, Deirdre said, incorporating air the whole time. That's what gives you the scoopability. Okay. Here we go. This, this is the inside. Oh wow! Look at that. <laughs> this is the messiest part. Okay. So you have to get all this goodness out. So Chris, what is this machine that we have? Yeah, this is called a, a vat, and it's a it's a big uh, essentially kettle with a steam jacket. It's got uh, walls in here that are heated with water, uh, okay. not steam water, uh, and we heat our base mixture in here: your milk, cream, sugar, um, egg, depending on what you're making, uh, coconut milk, that kind of stuff. We heat it all in here, and that becomes our base mixture. Okay. Wow. So this gets all the way up to the top here. Uh, yep, uh, yep, um, and then we cook it to uh, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know the Celsius conversion okay. off the top yep. hand. Um, and then we cool it down. Uh, that's part of the part of the three-day process of making the ice cream. Also, it's a three-day process for starting. Yeah, so this is day one. Day two is uh, making your flavor and churning it, which you saw here. Okay. And then day three is really uh, bringing it out of the very deep freeze from negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit to um, about five degrees Fahrenheit for scooping. Okay. Yeah. Mm, Our yeah. 16 flavors that you can uh, get scoops of. Okay. So this here, this is all ice cream, not gelato. So the way that we, uh, the way that we have it set up here is this half is all grass-fed cow's milk. Okay. And then in this half, these eight flavors are all non-dairy. Okay. Uh, so seven of them happen to be coconut milk based, and then one of them is a sorbet. So it's all fruit based. Um, we could technically classify them all as gelato. Uh, we consider our non-dairy gelato because it is a little bit lower in fat. It's about 9% and it's got very little air content in it. You told me before they have a grass-fed ice cream. I never knew that before. Yeah, yeah. So cows are, cows are grass eaters. Uh, they weren't meant to eat grains, which is how most cows in America are fed. Um, we source our milk from, from a dairy and from farms that are certified organic and they graze the grass. So that creates more nutrients but also more color and more flavor. Um, we also don't homogenize our, our ice cream mix at all, which most ice cream makers do. Uh, I believe that your body processes that differently. We have a lot of people who cannot drink milk from the grocery store that can eat our ice cream. And I have, like I said, I have no scientific proof of that, but I believe there's some emerging evidence that that may be the case. Um, but that's what we believe um, is the best product that we can make. That's yeah. nice. It's healthy ice cream. Uh, healthy? It's still got a lot of sugar. Yes. Um, but I think it's better than in terms of yes. Yes, I, I would agree with that.
Do you want to sample that? Sure. Thank you. 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 Okay, so in addition to ice cream and gelato, you also sell cookies, I see. Yeah, we bake, we bake our baked goods fresh every day. Um, I always loved eating vanilla ice cream and a chocolate brownie. That was probably one of my favorite desserts of all time. So a couple of things that you could add with your ice cream, but we, we, we pride ourselves in being very, very excellent. And so we have people that come in just for our cookies because they think they're the best in town. Wow. So that makes us feel good. good. With the ice cream, well done, real, real good. Like a kidney candy store, kidney candy store, we love it. 그런 표현이 있습니다, kidney candy store, right? 너무 신났다라는 뜻입니다. So this is our confectionery. We make uh, all of these bonbons uh, right here on site. They're little delicious fillings of fruit or nut, um, caramel, and uh, we coat them in chocolate for your delight. So it's, 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 a fun, uh, it's a fun new extension of what we do. We opened this in 2018 in the fall. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can get you one to try. What kind of flavors do you like? Do you like fruits or nuts or just chocolate? Nut. Nut? Do you like almonds? Yeah. All right, let's get you an almond. Nice here. this out okay. all right so I'll give that to you Derek can have the other half if you'd like this is a roasted almond fraline fraline is a, a nut a roasted nut and caramelized sugar so, that's fun this one that we happen to have sitting out okay so what do we have here? This is, looks like a bigger refrigerator. Yeah, yep, freezer with our pints, uh, 16 ounces worth of ice cream. So this, this side is primarily all the dairy. This side is primarily all of the coconut milk base. And again, all the different flavors you can choose from that maybe aren't available out here for scooping. So we have customers who belong to a, a year of pints club. And so every month they come in and they get to choose a different flavor. Oh wow, yeah. that's cool. What do you think sets Love's ice cream apart from other ice cream? So I think the main thing that sets us apart is we make everything from scratch right here on site. Base. Um, we like to support our agriculture here in Michigan. It's a very agriculturally diverse mm -hmm. uh, region of the world. Uh, we grow lots of great produce here, so we use the wealth of berries a lot in our ice cream here. Um, and that's kind of what makes us different is, yeah, minimally processed. Okay. We think that's better for you to eat. Mm -hmm. And I heard you earlier talking about you use uh, grass-fed milk uh, from, from cows, yep. is that correct? Okay. Yep. Can you tell us, are there any other special kind of ingredients that you use with your ice cream besides the grass-fed uh, cows? Um, mentioning? Well, we do, yeah, so it's it kind of to that point we use the ingredient usually to flavor. So if you go to the grocery store and buy an ice cream, it's going to have what's referred to on the label as natural flavor or artificial flavor. And that's where chemists come in. And they, they take all the flavor notes from all these different things around the world and they put them in to make your brain think that you're tasting that thing. You may be tasting pieces of it originally. However, we like to use the ingredient. So we have a lavender blueberry ice cream. And we use lavender petals and we steep it like a tea. We strain it out and then we use a blueberry. We cook down a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of sugar, and we puree that in. So you're tasting lavender, you get the color from your blueberry. That's what makes us different. So anytime we see a flavor that says blueberry, strawberry, coconut, you're getting the real thing, no chemicals. 
Right, and there's a lot of uh, scare tactics out in the health food world about what's good and what's bad. Um, and there's probably real strawberries and a lot of ice cream that you buy at the grocery store. But our strawberry gelato is our coconut milk, the sweetened with cane sugar, vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract, which is very expensive these days, okay. and Michigan strawberries, okay. pureed in. So that's a lot of the difference. Whereas in the grocery store ice cream, you're probably going to have uh, strawberry flavoring, maybe natural vanilla flavor, which is not a pure vanilla extract, okay. or artificial vanillin, and um, yeah, probably some strawberry pieces or probably some strawberry puree. Okay. But it's very standardized because those big manufacturers want every batch to be exactly the same. And we kind of pride ourselves in the fact that there might be a little variation, even though we follow our formulas, okay. you know, but there's a little human element there. Okay. So obviously people in the Grand Rapids area can come downtown here to the market and get the ice cream here for themselves, but there's also other parts of Michigan in which they can purchase ice cream, right? Yeah, a lot of the main, yeah. a lot of the main pubs right now, uh, Lansing, Kalamazoo, uh, Detroit area, and of course all around Grand Rapids. Uh, we have about a little over 20 stores that carry our pints, okay. varying degrees. It might, we have about nine buyer stores that carry maybe four flavors, okay. and then we have some stores that carry eight flavors. You know, so yeah, all around. Uh, we're still trying to work our way up to Traverse City. Okay, um, get there eventually. Huh? Get there eventually. Yeah. Okay. So if you come into our shop, tell them you saw this on Han Me Life. Huh? We'll give you another half scoop uh, with your order. Wow! <laughs> wow! 설명해 주세요, 여사님. 무슨 무슨 혜택인지. 어, 한밀라이프라고 그걸 보고 와서 아이스크림을 먹으면 사러 오면은 반절 수저를 더 준다고 합니다. 와 대박인데요. 여러분 여기로 꼭 오세요. 뭐로 땡기세요, 네. There you go. ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっ